Jones. And the question to me water, is, water, Harold, water. is the fight already over on your scorecard? <laughs> Just about, Jim. Eight rounds to one. 89, 82, Zahir Rahim. Jim, I gotta tell you, I, I think the worst thing that Eric Morales can do is reach. He leans in and he reaches, it's driving me crazy. Because every time he does that, he gets nailed by Raheem's right hand. Yeah, I mean, you just gotta watch it. He will lean in, stick that left hand way out, and bam, Raheem comes over the top or whacks him with a left hook. Yep. Eight to one, Raheem. Raheem leading there with a solid left hook. I have it seven to two. Now Morales got in a good left hook there. Morales needs contact and a lot of it. Another slippage by Raheem. Mexican fans believe sooner or later there should be a knockdown. At seven, eight, eight unanswered punches for Raheem before Morales finally threw back. Another beautiful short right hand counter too as he moved in. Straight left. Last time at Zahir, I thought landed a short right hand over there. Zahir's doing everything. There's a right hand by Morales and a left hook to follow. But no damage. Eight jabs in a row by Raheem, no answer from Morales. Finally, he sticks the left and misses. Now you can see that Morales, tired of eating counter right hands, is getting reluctant to throw. By the way, I don't think Manny Pacquiao should try to fight Zahir Rahim. <laughs> it's a little different. Pacquiao plays a lot of intensity and a lot of fury the way he fights. But Rahim's but, but a big, big slick weight, the boxer. Wait, the wait, the wait, the wait, the yep. wait. You're absolutely right. 135 pound slick boxer. Yep. Not the right guy. Oh, what a left hook. Backs Morales right off. Eric walked right into it. This is becoming almost embarrassing. It really is. For Morales. It's a wipeout. Good fight, Nick. Good fight. All right, let's go. Son dos rounds, eh? We got two rounds to go. Viste como hiciste ahora este round? You saw what you did in the round. You gotta do the same thing in the next two rounds. Come on, the, the other guy is just trying to survive, to impress the judges. He's not doing much. Alright, keep your jab is working like there's no tomorrow. Keep your jab in his face. This is the basic one, two, three combination guy. Alright, one, two, three combination. Boom, 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 get out. All we got to do for the next two rounds, alright? Basic combination. We ain't got to do nothing fancy with Chris. You're a boxer. Box, you don't even seem to wonder, Manuel, whether Raheem can maintain his poise and his conditioning. Raheem, go over there. Because he seems Give me the towel. so Give me the towel. calm Give me the in the middle of what should be a storm. I'm not yeah. done yet. And it's better to the think and concentrate. Seems so to be water. very good. Through 10 rounds, Eric Morales has landed only 18 out of 163 jabs. Raheem has landed more than twice as many. And thrown a great deal more. Now he starts to pump the jab again. You heard trainer Don House say, keep jabbing. One, two, three, that's all you need to do. One, two, three, of course, is jab, right, cross, left hook. Morales reaching, lunging, missing. Raheem popping him and moving away. the first time Morales has slipped in the same way Raheem has slipped several times. 
I think Larry's right. It's probably the paint because there's no water on the floor at all, I can see. I agree. Now. Morales is dead. Keep referring to the referee as being biased. It's just like someone, the old joke about the butler did it. Morales felt like he had a moment there. He landed a left hook inside and thought that he had hurt Raheem. Raheem held up both hands. Usually that means, yes, he was a little bit wobbled. Crowd got excited, but now the moment has passed. Have we seen it when a fighter like Morales, superstar, trained by his father, gets in trouble, falls behind in a fight, and never once does the father trainer say, you know what, you've lost the fight, unless you go in there and stage a huge rally and turn it all around. We haven't heard that come out of Jose Morales. No, tonight. that's refusing to face reality. And a lot of time, the father's actually going to a state of shock, I'll be honest with you, themselves. And they are just helpless in the corners in those cases. Like Felix Trinidad Sr. when Trinidad was being blown up by Bernard Hopkins in Madison Square Garden. Like Shane Mosley twice against Vernon Forrest when his father Jack simply never showed the desperation. They, the father just clammed up in those cases, didn't know what they were seeing, what to do, what the answer was, anything. And the fighter needs help when he's in those type situations. slip on the paint. The Morales fans thought maybe it was a knockdown. They trade right hands in the center of the ring. Ten seconds left in the 11th. Raheem. Right hand by Morales. That was actually That's right. been a knockdown. Raheem's glove touched the canvas, and Morales didn't get credit for the knockdown. We'll have to look at the replay, but I believe Raheem's glove touched the canvas. Okay, Eric, deep breath now. Come on, let me let me put some water on your balls. Last round. You gotta go this. Get me fake right hand left hook to move. All right? He's desperate right now. All right? Don't play around. A desperate Morales, a high shot, followed by a shorter one, and yes, the glove did touch the ground. Technically, that's a knockdown. Yep. The right glove. did not call it. Now, from that angle, I really couldn't see clearly myself. Actually, I'm it, not a, It I'm, appeared, I'm but I really can not see. Yeah. I really couldn't well, see. But, but regardless of what, Zaire's going to have to, because he's won maybe 10 rounds, he cannot just rest on that. He's got to get some respect this last round. Or if it don't, it'll be a nightmare for him. He's either won seven, eight, nine, or ten rounds. You know, uh, yeah, but he's going to have to exactly fight some. Guys, think Taylor Chavez. Taylor Chavez. All right. Morales, Morales is in the position that Chavez was in, coming out in the last round against another Philadelphia fighter, having to score a knockout to win. Yeah, but I'm not sure he's done anywhere near the kind of damage that Chavez did to Taylor. For the body and the well, straight right I, I hands agree, the but that's the desperate situation he's in. Yep, I agree. The 11th round was as close as Morales has been to having a big round. Not as big as he might have liked. Raheem doesn't feel as though he needs to win the 12th. I just, I would box, you know, you know, you get paid to go 12 rounds, work the whole 12 rounds. All he's got to do is, once he starts boxing and hitting, Morales, Morales is going to slow down his attack. That'll take the pressure off of him a lot. I think he's got to think he's got to win this fight, this round, excuse me. Let's remember, Morales is the star. The crowd is a Morales crowd. Judges are American judges, two from California and one from New York. Dr. James Jenkin, 
Raul Paez Sr. from California, Julie Letterman. That's what he needs. That's what he needs to keep doing right there. Great right and, hand and by that, Morales. I mean by uh, Raheem back Morales off. And that and that'll okay, slow him down a lot more, get a little bit more respect. Another exchange won by the American fighter. Eric Morales is showing his fighting will and spirit as he tries to lift himself in these last two rounds. He's been in so many of these wars right here. But he's only landed a couple of big shots. Nothing earth-shaking. And now in the last minute of the fight, after all of the wars and all of the years, I have to wonder if Eric Morales, in moving up to 135 pounds tonight, finally bit off more than he could chew. He said it would be interesting for him to take on the kind of challenge he hadn't had before. Now maybe you see why he hadn't had this kind of challenge before. Morales scuffling and scraping, trying to get something done, but the clock is winding down. And Raheem backs him off again with a straight right hand. And now Zahir Raheem is gonna try to make the closing statement in the last 10 seconds as Eric Morales looks for one more shot, and it's over. We'll see what the judges saw. I thought the Raheem won the fight, but remember earlier we also pointed out how the 